Hey guys, today we are checking this. This is a battery analyzer from King Bolin. The model number, model name is BM580. In the box you will have the device and the user manual. So that's pretty much what you get. Over here I have an old battery that I have uh, took out from my vehicle. So I know that this battery is not so good anymore. And we are going to check if this device will conf confirm my diagnosis of this battery. So. It should be pretty simple. We have two terminals and we have two crocodile clips uh, to connect the battery. So let's do it and let's check what will uh, what will appear on the display. And we are here. We have a simple menu. We have uh, four buttons to navigate, confirm and go back. So let's uh, Check the battery with the first option. Yeah, so let's select OK. Select 12 volt system since this is a 12 volt 12 volt battery. Let's check it out of vehicle and let's select the battery type, which is AGM flat plate, and uh, battery type is is EN, I believe, EN 680. So let's select it, EN 680 and it will check it right now yeah state of health is 16 percent which is not good and if i scroll we can see state of charge 90 percent so um it's charged the voltage is correct we have 12 and a half volts but the state of health is very low it should give 680 amps of starting current at, and it gives only 275 amps so this is why this battery had to be um, replaced also we have the internal resistance over here um, 8 ohms and that's pretty much what we have in this test okay so let's go back and let's uh, go to the main menu again and let's select maybe the multimeter 12 volts yeah, and over here we have only the voltage uh, readout. So we can see that this voltage is correct. We have the indicator over here next to the OK section. And the more um, this indicator is on the left side, the, um, the lower is the battery charge. And over here, if the battery is connected to the vehicle and the vehicle is running, we can check if the voltage is um, high enough to indicate proper um, uh, charging from the um, uh, charging system in your vehicle. And right now we are next to Golf Mark 7 and let's check the new battery with the multimeter first 12 volts and we can see the indicator over here actually the battery is charged so well that it's showing like it <laughs> it's charging but I believe that's that's okay let's go back let's go back let's go to check and right now in the check section we have uh, in-vehicle tests and we have four tests. The battery test is the one that we saw earlier. We have charging test, startup test and load test. So let's start with the battery test. EFB in my case, EN720, OK. And we have state of health 76% because the battery is giving 628 amps when it should be 720 so that's that's pretty good state of charge is um, 98% so that's also that's also very good okay so let's try one of those other in vehicle tests so i have it hooked up to my golf mark 7 and well you can see that those leads are very short so if you want to perform all those tests alone and you want to be you want to be able to turn on the engine and to press the acceleration pedal well you will have to do this like this with your hand here and your foot in the vehicle or maybe you you will need to find someone to help you with uh, those tests but let's go to the charging test first we can see the ripple test and right now I believe it will ask us to increase the um, RPM. Yeah, increase the RPM.
and we have results how big is the ripple in the voltage well if the ripple is very high it uh, will um, it can cause uh, uh, some uh, issues with uh, CAN bus communication for example and over here we have the ripple at uh, 53 uh, millivolts and the result is no output I'm not sure what that uh, what this means but I know that the f uh, 53 millivolts is uh, pretty low it's a good result okay so let's go to load test right now so full load keep uh, rpms press ok so full load how to fully load the vehicle lights aircon blower rear and uh, defrost stereo may be off but let's increase rpm and let's press ok load capacity good so i believe we are good okay and right now i cannot go back that's strange okay i'm back and last startup test so i believe i need to turn off the engine first press ok turn off the engine before entering this test maybe also turn off the lights start the engine speed detected testing time starting ability normal voltage this is voltage drop how low will the voltage drop while you are cranking the vehicle so it drops to 12 volts i believe this is a great result and we are good to good to go with this vehicle so let's uh, end this test we can also go to multimeter right now and check how the how the voltage looks like when the engine is on and what will happen if i rev the engine a little bit okay it jumps a little bit to the right and to the left well the frequency the readout frequency over here is not very high but let's say that it's okay you can see that i have some uh, some problems with the buttons and how the device is responding to the input well actually it's sometimes it can be a little bit slow what's here in the waveform ah we can see the readout well over here we can confirm that the readout is actually pretty fast maybe let's check how this will look with the uh, again i cannot go back well, maybe let's check over here how will this look while i'm cranking the engine okay so engine off waveform on engine on and we can see over here the voltage drop caused by the crank of the engine and how it slowly is reaching the desired voltage yeah right now it's 13 and it's going slightly low right now because this vehicle is uh, um, uh, equipped with uh, a battery module which uh, uh, varies the voltage that's uh, supplied to the battery okay so overall i have some pros and cons about this device uh, it's cool that it has this multimeter and this uh, ripple test with a really high frequency of uh, sampling and um, it's nice to have color screen over here and it supports wide uh, range of uh, battery standards when it comes to cons well the interface as you saw can be a little bit laggy from time to time it does not support uh, 24 volt systems we have 6 and 12 volts well 12 volt is the most popular but still um, uh, 24 i believe is more popular than 6 volts and what else over here well those instructions those on-screen instructions could be a little bit clearer as well as the results uh, it has a beautiful color display and it should take more advantage of it yeah with some pretty results with a red um, um, 
red indications of uh, faulty batteries and green indications of uh, past uh, of past uh, tests yeah so that's it if you want to check this device uh, there's a little bit more of um, technical specification in the description below this video as well as link to an online store if you like this uh, quick uh, review give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future ones see you soon